Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your tile. If you go on my website and you print out the printable tiles, you will find that you can actually just cut the edges off and then take your Martha Stewart board and score down each one. And that will give you that groove that a tile would have. Now, I printed this on cardstock, and I recommend that you print it on cardstock too. I'm doing multiple passes, and then you just go down. Okay, so once you've scored one complete side, you should have lines on the back that look like this. Okay, now you want to turn it over and you want to go the opposite direction. Now you will have to line your lines up with the top and bottom to make sure that they meet because the way that the board is set it doesn't give you precise lines to go directly in the center of these. When you go through and you do this and you get to the edge be sure not to press too hard here or you will end up tearing the corners of your paper or the edges of your paper. Just look at the top and then look at the bottom and then make sure the line is still there and then you should be okay. This just gives you that groove in there. You can't really see it too much on the paper from um, the camera, but in person you can see that it's two different levels. Okay, so continue that process all the way through. It should look like that on the back, which on the front all of those are in an Okay, now you can cut it to fit your room and apply it. You can do this with multiple colors. Now I will tell you this flower print is not on my um, website because this is not a print that I made. This is a print that I used off of a real floor tile. So I just put it together and created this. Be careful not to let it move on you, because if it does, you're going to lose your line. You just continue that all the way down.
Okay, so here's just some of the tiles that I printed out and cut. And there are actual um, PDFs on my website that you can download of some basic tiles. And you can do it the same way. And again, this is the Martha Stewart scoring board that I'm using. And it's the larger of the two. They sell a small one and then they sell the larger one. I want to say this one's probably about 13 or 14 inches wide. Like, uh, 12 and a half. Okay, it's 12 and a half right here and 12 and a half right here. I didn't even see that. Um, that's it. I never pay attention to it. But then they have one that's like six or eight inches. So you need the larger of the two. But, all right, don't forget to follow Dollhouse Mantra Madness and Tutorials on Facebook and on YouTube under Laurie Holden Heisler. And then also, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Okay, talk to you later. Have a great day. Okay, so what we're doing now is we've taken some matte board and we're using it as an underlayment to hide the taping of the wire and everything that is in the dollhouse because we're using cardstock and pre printed tiles, which is not very thick. And I don't want to see bubbles in my floor. So we pre-measured the area that we wanted to go and then we went ahead and scored it and then we're going to finish cutting it. Okay so you want to double check before you attach this that it fits into your room the way that you need it to go. Once you have it there then you want to go ahead and apply your Mod Podge to it. I'm using a gloss lecture because I want my tile to be shiny. I'm going to apply the Mod Podge all over the entire thing. Just brushing it on pretty thin. And you have to be pretty quick about this stuff because it does um, dry rather fast. All right, once you have that done, then you want to take your tile and you want to apply it on to your board. Start with the part that's going to be showing first. Just press it right on there. And then for that last row, if you have a row there, then you want to just add more from another strip. I'm kind of using a card to just kind of make sure I'm smoothing it down so that the paper can get absorbed, or the glue can get absorbed, rather. Okay, so I just cut a strip of two to finish off the rest of this. Now, because this is going on matte board, it will want to bow up. So you're going to want to put it on something heavy to keep it weighed flat. And once that you have it done and it's completely dry, then we'll cut it out to fit. And then we'll also apply a gloss coat on top of this. Okay, so once your tile has dried, if you have any areas that didn't go like at the corner or whatever, add some more Mod Podge on there and then hold it until it is dry. And then what you want to do is you want to take along the edge and you want to remove any excess tile that's not within your template. Too. All right, so just do that with all of it there. Okay, so at this point you can attach your wallpaper to your walls or you can attach your floor to there. Now the purpose of doing this on top of the mat board is because two reasons. One, it hides the bubble that the wire creates and two, if you need to get to the wire, you will still have access to get to it just by lifting the floor out. Okay? 
Okay, so at this point, you can put your Mod Podge on the spot that may have pulled up or whatever. But also, you want to test an area on a scrap piece to make sure that whatever ink you're using doesn't come off or bleed. And if it doesn't, then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put a light top coat of the Mod Podge on top of that. That way, if it was to get wet with something, it doesn't bleed. And I'm just going to brush it on and then we'll be finished with this. Okay, so this will dry clear. It's got a white haze to it right now because it's wet, but it will dry clear. And once it's dry, then you can give it a second coat if you desire. Okay guys, well that was it for this video. We are still working on some minor things with the dollhouse. We have a little bit more to go. However, if you subscribe below, we will post the images or the videos as we do it so that you can see how the progress goes. Also, if you subscribe, we'll have the tutorials that we'll post as well and you'll be able to see them. And we plan on making some furniture and a few other DIYs, so you don't want to miss that. And also, if you go on our Facebook page under Dollhouse Miniature Madness and Tutorials, you will be able to find lots and lots of pictures of everything that we've done along with a few other things. And then, you know, you can comment there or you can comment below. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to leave them. And we will get to them as soon as we can. But other than that, we're going to continue working on this Miniature Madness because we're having a ball. And thanks for watching and have a great day.